Hey guys and welcome to today's video which I happen to think is very appropriate solely because like my hair I know I know and it's not gonna stay like this either like I'm playing around with color okay I know you guys like the caramel thank you thank you very much um but I want to play around with color and I went with this color because it's October Halloween month I'm super excited for October and um, this box over here, which went monthly recently. Look, it's like pink and like fuchsia. We're, we're vibing here, we're vibing. And I'm really excited because this entire bundle is all ColourPop. Now you guys are aware what the sneak peeks are because they do full reveals prior to launching their box. That way you can choose whether or not you're interested in snagging a box of your own. There was a little bit of an issue with my coupon code when they transitioned their software, like their system, to monthly from by monthly I guess it never reactivated my code and that was a bit of an issue but it is active now I double checked so if you want to snag this box make sure you go get it and use my discount code I get nothing out of it sometimes people think that oh it's an affiliate code so you're gonna get money out of it I don't get any commissions nothing it just allows me to get you guys a discount on your very first box here is the reveal of the entire ColourPop bundle and yes it is pretty much all makeup I think there's like one skincare item could be a moisturizer or something like that other than that everything else is full-on makeup so we're really excited for this box and you might want to sign up now so you don't have to worry about November and December because um November and December are all makeup boxes as well and um I heard what I heard about the brands and I was like you serious so that's pretty exciting anyway so the first item which happens to be uh, the skincare item is the fourth ray beauty the daily facial moisturizer it is oil free goodness it's supposed to have some antioxidants and it's supposed to be extremely moisturizing I got my little handy dandy um bobby pins to pull my hair back for a second Ugh. here is the moisturizer nice sized tub and look at that completely full to the brim. I'm gonna take a little bit of this bum, 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 because it's supposed to be really, really moisturizing and I'm hot right now, like it's hot up in here. I don't wanna overdo it. So we're gonna mm, 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 super quickly. Dun, 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 dun. I'm excited for the rest of the products. Okay, next item is a brush roll with a full on set of brushes. Okay, so the brush roll has a little bit of a scent, like a very, very, very chemically scent. But it's just a brush roll, so it kind of is what it is. Look at all of these brushes. And ColourPop has really good brushes, so I'm really excited for this. Of course, we're going to go ahead and dive on in and use some of these in today's um, try-on situation. These came in handy. Next, we have a highlighter. This is their Super Shock Cheek and Wisp. I really like their Super Shock formulas because you see what it looks like? Like right now it looks like it's all crumbled and weird and you're like, no, girl, look, this is all you do. You press it down and she's good to go. Like, I love these formulas. So you don't have to worry about it like breaking in transit to you. Look at that. Like I just pressed it down and I have product on my finger. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it here for you guys so you can see. Look how vibrant that is. Huh. Okay, so this is Wisp. They sent over a mascara in black. This is their Act Natural Defining Mascara. Haven't tried their mascara, so we'll see. Packaging is cute, real simple, basic. What's the wand look like? Oh, this is like a J curved wand, but it is like an actual brush. It's not like a silicone something. The formula looks pretty moussey, but still kind of loose, so that's exciting. We have the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss, which I will apply now just so that we can see if it does a little something something. It is in the shade Stunting. Cute little tubey tubey. I'm just gonna apply a little bit so that I can start hydrating my lips so they don't look uh, chat and dry and funky. But I also wanna leave it on for quite some time so we can see what it feels like, what it does. I love how it has a name and it apparently has a shade but it's, it's, it doesn't have a shade. It doesn't have a shade. They included a brow pencil in the shade Taupe. And for those of you wondering, the boxes are all gonna look the same. So everyone will get Wisp. Everyone is going to get like their lip gloss. You're not gonna get like extreme variations or anything like that, which is probably why they included Taupe as their brow pencil. I I had purchased the brow pencil when it initially came out, like when they first launched it, and I wasn't like in love with it. It's a very fine point uh, pencil, and it does come with a spoolie. I don't know if they changed the formula or what, but I know for a fact that the packaging looks different. So we'll see what happens with that. And then we got an eyeshadow palette, which I'm assuming has the pop of pink. This is their Color Vision palette. 
Look how cute. Okay, that's cute for their packaging. And then the inside has their pop-up color with some nudes. That's cute. Okay, so I might use this one. But we got a second palette. This one here is their Neon Gaze palette. Oh, I like this one. Okay, so I feel like because of my top and because of the hair, I think we're going to do the other palette, the one with the pink. Last but not least, I almost dropped it. <laughs> We have their Champagne Glow Oil by their Soul Body line. Let me think you can apply this all over your face, your skin, your body, everything. But because I'm not really showing any like skin skin other than my face, we're going to apply some on the face and then we'll apply a foundation on top. I grabbed my handy dandy little palette. I'm going to pump some of the glow oil on here. That's what the formula looks like. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's like runny, but it's not crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the brush and I'm gonna apply my foundation with, yes, I used it yesterday, leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna do this to the glow oil and I am going to pat it in place. The reason why I'm patting, this smells like coconut. Like a little bit like coconut, that's cute. The reason why I'm patting is because I don't wanna just smear it. I want a nice blend and I want it to look true to color. That's really glowy. <laughs> that's like extra, extra glowy. Of course, the foundation I'm gonna apply over it has to be more like a, a matte finish. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like an oily mess even though I won't be oily. I am grabbing Bamboo by Becca Cosmetics, the long departed. As I'm blending, I'll tell you guys what I'm seeing. I'm definitely seeing super glowy, super, super glowy. Um, it looks good. I mean, this is one of those situations where I'd be able to skip the highlighter. However, we do have Wisp, so we will be trying it. But it does add that like bit of luminosity to the foundation that it didn't originally have. Let's move on to the next product. So far, everything is looking amazing. I'm gonna uh, try the brow pencil now. So the formula is definitely not as soft as I remember it being, but now if anything, it's a little thicker, like a little harder. All right, so it took me twice as long to get finished like one brow because I really had to go in and press it in, but no matter how much I press it, it didn't break, which is good. Uh, the first time I tried it, I literally went like this and the formula was like snapping off the tip, which is weird. This shade taupe works for me, uh, I think solely because my hair is a different color because if it was like really, really dark the way it used to be, like originally when I opened up a channel, um, my brows would still be way too light for me. But right now, I mean, this works. It works. I'm not mad at it. It works better than when it initially launched in my opinion. All right, now we've gone through pretty much half of the box. We still have four more products to try. But before we do, I would love to talk to you guys about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where thousands of people come together in order to learn a new skill or elevate a skill they already have. With Skillshare, you have the opportunity to level up your creative journey and get on the right path. Their classes feature a series of topics covering social media, film and video, graphic design, animation, productivity, illustration, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, music, fine art, drawing, photography, personal development, health and wellness, finance, and so much more. When you join Skillshare, they curate your personalized homepage. This will provide you with customized personalization based on your interests. With Skillshare, you're able to enjoy the classes based on your schedule. So if you're not able to finish it today, that's perfectly fine. They save your progress until the next time you log in and the next time you log in. So you'll never lose track of where you left behind. You're able to save and bookmark certain classes you're interested in participating in so that you can find them a lot quicker. And you have the option to participate in workshops if that's something you're interested in. One of the items that, that have been recommended in my homepage is the top classes of 2020. So I'm bookmarking that right now. It consists of 30 classes, which you technically don't have to participate in every single one of them, but it does have 1,735 followers. And that's just that one like suggestion, which to me it's kind of crazy. So although they have hand lettering in Procreate, which personally it's not something I'm into, they do have several other classes that I absolutely need to check out because they relate to the things that I do, such as a video on a budget, prepare your shoot without breaking the bank. As per usual, Skillshare is absolutely amazing to me and my followers. They're offering the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box down below a free trial of their Skillshare premium membership. The 1,000 slots always go really fast, so make sure you take advantage of this opportunity and try Skillshare today. 
Okay, cool. So I grabbed a few brushes that I feel like I might want to use out of the brush roll. We're going to put the brush roll down. This didn't come in the box, but you know, you know we, we have to we have to kind of work with what we got. This is the Anastasia concealer, uh, like the potted concealer. And it smells horrible. It smells like um, a melted crayon. It just smells really bad. Um, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and apply that all over my lid. This is going to create a nice little base for the eye. I am going to grab the fluffy brush. This is their E15, and that is um, gonna go into the crease. So we're gonna use the shade Digital, or it's, yeah, it's Digital. I thought it said Diagonal, Diagonal. I am going to blend that directly on the crease, and then up, we're not gonna blend down. And I'm not even gonna wrap this around the like corner of the eye. I don't think it's necessary. I'm gonna grab the E4, it is a nice flat brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Arcade and I'm gonna apply Arcade all over the lid. That's like a nice little frosty shade. We're gonna bring that up to the crease and I like brushes like this that have like a really flat and thin edge because it allows me to get into that crease without having to go through the effort of put, uh, like putting together a cut crease. I can do that but I like to keep things nice and simple for you guys. I'm technically not reviewing the ColourPop formulas because ever since they launched, their formulas have been amazing. If anything, they keep just getting better and better and better. So I would say like 95% of the population knows about ColourPop and has tried at least one or two of their formulas. Now the eyes looking like super simple. I know this is where the pops come in. I am going to dip into Laser Tech. I'm using the E18 brush. I feel bad because these kind of shades stain your brushes, which is kind of annoying. No matter how much you try, look, pop, pop. And the thing is, I'm just patting it into place. But like, no matter how much you try, when something stains, it stains. So I went in and I just pat the color in place. That way, like it's all concentrated in that one area. And then I'm grabbing the E16 brush and it's like a, it's a more narrow blending brush. And I'm just gonna go to that edge. I'm gonna blend that out just a little bit because I still want it to be like nice and bright and poppy. And then I'm going to blend the two shades together. I could always go in and pop, add a, lim, a little more of that pink shade, but we'll see what happens. It's like an ombre from dark to light. Okay, the thing about it is, it's like the pink is cute, but I'm gonna justify using this bright neon shade because my shirt got it on here too. So I'm gonna get away with this one, okay, okay, okay. I really wanna show you guys how the neons look, which is why I used the pink. And now we're gonna use Glowscape, which is like a really neon-y, like green, like it's like a neon-y lemon green situation. I'm using the E21 brush. I am gonna take that and I'm just gonna drag that down here. Now, if you guys can see, I don't have any um, concealer under there or like a base, therefore it's not even showing. So I'm gonna lightly go in to the concealer and add a nice little base down here because we want that pop. Let's try that again. There we go. See, now we can see the pop. I added black liner to my bottom waterline that way it'll help the yellow and lima green kind of pop a little more. And now we're gonna dive on in and try the mascara, which I already said it. I'm like curious about, but at the same time, I don't know. Cause a lot of times mascaras are kind of like, eh, just mascaras. All right, can we just talk about how this is just one coat? I've got maximum coverage and length. I'm not mad at it. I still need, you know, because because of the pops. I still need some um, lashes, but this looks really good. Now here's what the eyes looks like. If you want to stop here and not apply any um, lashes, that's perfectly fine. You do you boo. It still looks really cute. Mm. But you know, I definitely have to pop some lashes on. So in three, two, one, and bam, poof. Okay, see, see the difference when you apply lashes. Phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and use Wisp. Now, I checked the brush roll. There's no specific brush that I would actually use for a highlight. You could totally apply it with your finger and that's fine. I am going to use a little uh, broche brush to apply it though, just because I'm able to see exactly where I'm applying. I'm blending it like seamlessly because with my finger, I kind of, you know, do one of those and I can be a little messy sometimes, okay? Okay. See how like, easy it is to apply that's insane like i love their formula and i love it's more like a cream to powder 
type of thing almost like a putty but it's not a putty i'm gonna go in and use the e4 brush the one that i used for this shade here on the lids i'm gonna dip into like the wisp very lightly and i'm gonna apply some of that to my brow bone okay now let's talk the lip gloss plumper thing i mean it's cute it's long wear it's still here i've been filming the entire video and it's still there i've been having some protein shake and it's still there okay However, I'm gonna say, it didn't plump anything. Now I feel like really, really what they're gonna do is they're gonna emphasize what your lips look like to make them look a little more plowdy, plowdy, plowdy. I tried to be cute for a second there, that didn't work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I like the effect, I like how glossy it is. I've gotten into lip glosses lately, okay? The, uh, this pandemic has caused me to absolutely love lip glosses. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a lip liner. This is the Ofra Liner in So Sweet. It is a nice little pinky nude color. I'm gonna use this to emphasize my lips, which would ultimately add to the plumping effect type of look. And then I'm gonna go in with Juicy just a little bit. You see, it makes everything look just more poof. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I'm excited about this box. I think it's way worth more than the $34 that we're paying for it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the AIA Beauty Bundle, as per usual, sent me this box. I didn't pay for it, but would I pay $34, $35 for this box? Absolutely. freaking lootly I love how it all like tied in with like my top and my hair. I had no idea I was all gonna work out, but it did, and I'm so excited. Now, you guys let me know what you guys think. Is this a box that you're looking forward to? Is this a box that you're gonna dive on in and snag? Or are you gonna skip on it? I, of course, wanna hear your thoughts. And if you choose to recreate this look, make sure you tag me over on Instagram so that I can repost you over on my stories. Do not forget, I do have that discount code in the description box down below. Make sure you use that code to save a little bit of money. And don't forget to click the link in the description box in order to snag one of the 1,000 slots of Skillshare Premium Membership today. And that is a wrap up for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it when you guys do that because it helps my channel out. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye.